Hey everybody, Boxing Boba here. Um, I got uh, in here, we named her Fire. She's a high contrast Queensland Red. Now she's a baby. Now, I do believe in the hook method training as far as like letting them know you're there and touch them and things like that. And that tends to help let the snakes know, hey, you know, wakes them up if they're sleeping. Um, also, it lets them know that you're not food. Um, Thing, things like that. Um, I really do like it. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you what it's like to own a baby carpet python. Now, I have baby carpet pythons that never bit me. But this one I got here, she's scared. That is why they bite. They do not bite because they want to hurt you or anything else. Now, they'll tell you to go behind them and things like that. And that works great. On a snake that you know isn't too scared, but you don't have to be scared. The snake is more scared of you than you are of it, and that's why it's trying to bite you because it's scared. You can eat it. Everything in its life is bigger than she is, or and that some you know if you have a boy, in his case. That does not mean your snake is mean or evil or anything like that. It's scared. That's okay. You, you know, you got to work with the animal against trust. Now, to show you that it's not bad, I'm going to let the snake bite me real quick. As you can see, nothing. Alright, I'm letting the snake bite me. Now, that I'm not worried about it, I'm going to pick it up. Now, what I'm going to let it do here is I'm going to let it kind of get hyper, but then I'm going to start letting it move. And as you can see, the snake was striking at me, biting me, and, uh... Now it's coming down. Now, now don't get me wrong. It, it, it'll, she will probably bite me again, and that's okay. You know, you work with them. And, and she's going to squeeze me for dear life. If you notice, I make slow, steady movements. That does not mean she is not going to bite me. But you do small interactions like this, and you just let the snake get comfortable on you, and you get the snake used to you. Now, if you see here... She's squeezing my thumb really hard. It's not because she's trying to murder my thumb or anything like that. She's terrified right now. Look at her. She's tiny. Everything in her life to her is out to eat her. Everything wants to eat her. She's scared. That's all this is. It's, it's just, it's, it's scaredness. Now I'm going to get her moving again. I, I want to get her getting going again and calm down. Now you're going to see her flailing a little bit. That's okay. We just get her moving. We get her rolling. And we get her doing normal carpet python things as far as like just moving and holding on and just getting used to things. And, and you know, the, the more you do this, I would not do this more than, you know, once every two or three days when they're this size. You don't want to freak them out. You don't want to overstress them. Um, after they eat, give them, especially when they're this size, give them a good three days. I know some people say two days. Um, I give babies like this a good three days of digestion before I, I start to handle them again. Um, she ate on Wednesday. Um, so I give her a good three days to digest. And so that way I'm not too worried about regurg. You can see she still digesting a little bit, but nothing too much. And as you see here, we went from biting me and freaking out and holding on to me for dear life to look at her. Look at that. Moving, flicking her tongue, smelling the air, tasting, seeing where everything's at, and actually calming down. It's that fast. Now, don't get me wrong. As soon as I put her down back in here I'm gonna show you something she will go back to defense she's back in here everything you know you saw just now a minute ago after I got her calm down everything was fine okay now don't be upset if you go in and stick your hand in and she starts swinging at you again like she's doing here as you can see I'm gonna let her I give her my palm my hand if you look there she's not biting the whole on she's doing little bites to say I'm scared please let me go and that doesn't mean that she hates you. Oh, I just held her and she was fine. Now she's by me. No, that's, that's part of it. 
You got to earn their trust. If you notice, the rea the bites were not even drawing blood. Not even drawing blood. And uh, so, that's the thing. Don't be scared, you know, to get bit. Overcome your fear. Work with your animal. Take your time. And eventually, they will calm down. They will not bite you. They will trust you. And I don't mean trust you like a, a dog trusts you. I mean trust you that they're safe around you. You know, that you're not going to eat them. You're not prey. Right now, to her, I am a predator and she is prey. You know, so I got to let her realize that I am not a predator and she is not prey. And over time... We'll get that, you know, and I guarantee you guys within a month, she won't even bite me. Um, probably less than that. Um, sometimes they take longer. Uh, um, but usually it's about probably a month of just, you know, every couple of days handling, every getting them out, working with them, letting them know, hey, you're all good. And they calm down. So you just got to take your time. You know, don't. Don't overstress them. Like right now, I'm going to end this video here in a minute just because I don't want to overstress her. So I'm going to put her back here in this holding container and then I'm going to put her away. But limit your handlings like this to probably five, ten minutes most when they're this size. You don't want to stress them out. You know, they are baby. I know they eat. But like she eats frozen thawed. Um, but I mean just because they they eat and drink and, and things like that. I mean they are a baby you know. So you got to treat them with like that. You got to treat them like they're a baby child. And so you don't do things to overstress a baby child. It weakens their immune system and things like that. So you know just limit your handling to 5 to 10 minutes every 2 to 3 days. Oh, it's okay. See you now. I'm petting her. She's calmed down. And that's how it is. And look, she's loosening up on me. I squeeze me. I'm going to put her back. Because that's enough handling now. And I'll leave her alone for a good two days. And uh, so, yeah. We'll leave her alone for two days. And then I'll start the training over again. And we'll do that. Um, For those of you that are wondering about hook training, I'll show you what hook training is real quick. Uh, Jordan Shaw, HLH Reptiles, is a big component of this, and I agree with it. What I would do is I would open this, and I would kind of gently touch. Now with this, I'm not going to pick up. That's not what a hook is for. And then once I touch, you see how she got moving, and there you go. So that's, hook, that's kind of hook training. Let's them know you're not food. Let's them know it's all good. And it kind of, you know, adds a little bit of security there. So, you know, hooks are not meant to pick your snake up with, people. Please stop doing that. Um, so, anyway, this is Boxing Ball. Hopefully, you guys learned a little something. Um, and hopefully, you guys have a good day. Um, like I said, this is a high-contrast Queensland red, uh, pure coastal. So, she's going to be phenomenal. And uh, hopefully, you guys have a good day. This is Boxing Ball. Please like share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Peace.